Hello, this is uh, Rosalie Romano, uh, a professor of secondary education at Woodring College of Education, Western Washington University. And I'm here today with a very special student that I uh, have grown to just love, Javier Espinoza. Javier, tell us a little bit about how you got to Western Washington, and then we'll sort of talk about how we met in Chile. And okay. Well, uh, my name is Javier Espinosa. I am from Chile, the south of Chile, and I study in the Cat Universidad Católica of Temuco. Um, I had the chance to come here because uh, in Chile there's a, a program, a scholarship, the government, and they give the opportunity for students who are studying English education to study abroad for one quarter, one semester, and sometimes one year. Mm -hmm. So we were contacted by our university. They choose the place and they tell us about uh, Western Washington. And then we were uh, looking on internet, like the web page and the information, the pictures, and also the, the story. And it was very interesting to me. And I said, oh, I definitely want to go there. And it's the, the place is really nice, the city and all the college. Is, the university has the campus and all the greenery around. It's a very, welcome, very welcoming environment, university. Well, when um, Molly Ware and I were in uh, Timoko and we met uh, your professors, we also noted the uh, volcanoes and the mountains and how similar it was, except you weren't on the water, yeah. but how similar it was in green and the lushness and the very beautiful, um, the main campus and the one downtown. I mean, all of them had um, these terrific features. What I, um, so last uh, March, we were, um, 2013, um, we came to visit your campus and to talk about opportunities for our students to go back and forth. But before that, did you know that your professor, um, uh, Tanya Tagle, came to Western Washington with Paula Raquilme, oh. the, your dean, yes. from UCT? I don't oh. know if you ever knew that. Oh, they yeah. visited here a year ago oh. through Partners of the Americas, which is a national program that ties countries with states. So Central and Latin American countries are connected to certain states. Mm -hmm. Our sister partner in Washington State is Chile. Oh. I volcanoes, didn't know that. Yeah. volcanoes, mountains, yeah. forests, yes. ocean, fishing, grapes, yeah. wine. Yes, wine. <laughs> and high diversity. Yeah. So we have this beautiful opportunity, it seemed, to be able to um, carry on and extend that initial visit by your dean and by Tanya. And we went there to specifically to see, is there a way to help UCT uh, students and and Washington, Western Washington University students in studying to be teachers, to become more interculturally responsive, since both of our peoples, our societies, are very striated and imbalanced economically. Yeah. And there is great diversity and colleges of ed here and there, and certainly in um, Temuco, focus on social justice. But in Concepcion, where we also were, social justice. So it seemed like we have many things in common in working to become teachers of yeah. social justice. So that's how, that's how this lovely connection came. Yeah. And we have um, Alvaro coming in the fall. So we have two students from Temuco, Chile. Yeah. Universidad Católica yeah. de Tomoko. Well, I'm very glad you went there and we met you there. It was 
better for me and also for Alvaro. We are we were more like sure of what it was about, and we also were like we felt more important. You know, when you met some teachers, some professors mm -hmm. who go there and meet you, that's like you feel good. You feel like a person who who is like is gonna be care for someone. So you don't feel like you're going alone and you don't know what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. So I really appreciate that. And I will also say that here in my experience in the school where I'm volunteering, uh, I have realized about the multicultural students who, are, who come from different uh, places. And sometimes we share the same language which is Spanish, our first language, with most of my students. But then you realize that uh, their culture, in certain ways, is similar, but it's also very different, mm -hmm. and you learn a lot. Even though you share the same language, you don't know sometimes about their, their countries, and that's like a, an unforgettable experience for me. And I, I know that this would have been possible with, without this program. So, so when you go back to um, Temuco, which is this Friday, and yes. we're going to miss you <laughs> so much, um, when you go back, then you actually share yes. with your peers your yeah. experiences, Yeah, which is what Tanya and I are hoping, that we just continue building an awareness of, of the richness of multicultural experiences. Yeah. Well, um, I really like photography, as you know. Oh, so me gusta. <laughs> I have yeah. had the experience to take a lot of pictures of the university here, sometimes in the school where I was practicing, the mm -hmm. city, uh, some cities around also. And I'm really glad I had the experience and the chance to go with the camera and take pictures. Sometimes you, you cannot in certain places. But here you feel so safe and you can really mm. care about what you're doing and not what people is going to do around you. So I really feel that this is a safe place to be as a student. And in my experience, I am alone here. I, I didn't come with right. any other classmate at the same time. So I think this is like uh, ideally environment for any student at least from my university, they would be glad to come here. I mean, I will show them the pictures, I will talk them about my experience, and I know they will be interested in visiting, visiting Western and Bellingham. And becoming a student here, yeah. even for one quarter. Yes. And so what we're hoping is that some of our students can go to Timoko. Yes. and have a similar experience yes. because it's a very, very, very wonderful campus with wonderful professors. And the schools that we got to go to and to visit would be ideal, just like you found Shuxon to be, yes. yes. And so exactly. those kinds of experiences uh, actually help promote a global teacher. Yes. You can't go back to being just the way <laughs> no, you were. Yeah. Yes. I mean, um, even when it is like a quarter, I thought at first it was going to be, uh, I didn't really know if the time was going to be too long or too short. Right. But then I realized that with one quarter abroad, it, you, you can really get to know well your students, the university, the way they that teachers deliver the, their lessons in mm -hmm. the university. Mm -hmm and also in schools, at schools. I mean, I really had the chance to, to, to see how my teacher was working with the kids, like the, the teacher at Jackson I was working with. Mm -hmm. And I also realized that uh, how important visuals and, and all the elements you used to, to teach a second language work together in the, in the like in mm. the th theoretical yes. part in Western mm -hmm. and then also how you practice that when you're like actually teaching in my school so that was like I had I was learning in in the university and then I was observing and also applying what I was learning through my my lessons so it was very wonderful experience and 
and I think that's every every teacher needs to to do when they are like in their training mm -hmm. to become a teacher. Yeah. Because now you'll bring this experience into your internship. Yes, that's right. I learn a new mm -hmm. way to plan my lessons, and I also uh, read uh, a lot about the the ways that you're like using visuals and giving support to make uh, language yes, easier our for students language. to understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so this is important because we usually overuse the translation because we have Spanish and then we want to teach English. I mean, it's good to use your first language to, to teach a second, but sometimes we, we just stay there and we use oh. the translation and we use the Spanish mm -hmm. to teach English and we think that's all. But here, I realized that there, there are like a lot of ways when you don't really need to use your Spanish because your students already know. And you really want them to learn new words in English. And then you have to give them more activities, more sh uh, sharing and more group grouping in the class. And that's really interesting to me. And it really changed my perspective as a teacher and what I can do with that and how I can apply it then. That's very important to hear because one, actually, that you've just, you've just um, shown the importance of a student teacher, a practicum student, and the classroom teacher and how much, certainly you can learn from a classroom teacher, but I'm thinking how much you will teach your cooperating teacher when you are an intern, yes. when you go back, because that's what we do as teachers. We're constantly yeah. learning, and yeah. it's so. This is very heartening. It's it's good. So we'll try to have um, a similar experience, yeah. or Alvaro, to, uh, in the fall. So, in terms of your own um, cross cultural, your intercultural experience as just a student here, because primarily Western is a very majority white campus. Yeah. We don't have a lot of diversity um, as met as other campuses, for example. Okay. Um, so how can you talk a little bit about your own experience? We, um, we took you to Burnham Wood that first day. You, the, the empty apartment, but you could see that there were people living there. Yeah. And, and so from that first day to this day, well, uh, when I first came, you know, you went to the airport, airport and picked me up there. And then when I moved to Burnham Wood, I started to feel like the first day I was kind of homesick because you, you, you feel like you yes. miss your family and that's like normal. But then uh, I started to come to classes to get to know my, my roommates. And I think I was very welcomed by all the people around me and all the people who was like uh, everywhere in the city, in the university. And my, my, my roommates really helped me to practice my English because they, they are native speakers. And I also have like very funny experiences with Matt, which is, who is my, Matthew is my roommate. And he talks Spanish when he was in high school. So he, he doesn't speak Spanish, but he knows some words. So when I'm speaking in English, and then he would uh, answer in Spanish. Ah. And it's like amazing. <laughs> so we have fun and we share and we have like different activities around the city. And that's like my personal life there, living in Burnham Wood. And all the people is really nice. Then I have the... Uh, the chance to come to classes here and we really had the, the opportunity to, to share, to interact with different classmates because we were working in groups. Then we had uh, to assignments where, when we had to read different chapters and then we had to share our information. So cooperative so, learning. Yeah, cooperative mm -hmm. cooper learning. And my, stu my classmates didn't read what I read so it was interesting for them and it was also interesting for me to learn what they had read mm -hmm. and understand understood what they understood yeah so 
in that sense I can say that I had a lot of opportunities to share to practice my English because we, we really need to practice when in Chile we don't really have the opportunity to speak English every day so this experience is unique for us as English teachers mm -hmm. and I also had the experience at Jackson so there are like three different aspects that I, I would identify like my personal experience living as a as a as Javier Espinosa, not a student, not a training teacher. Then I have my experience as a student at Western, and then I have my experience at Jackson as a teacher in, in training. So I think in 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 the three aspects, I really felt like a welcome welcoming attitude from different people, mm -hmm. from my apartment mates, from my classmates, and also from my students. That's, that was really nice because mm -hmm. I thought at first, I don't know how they will react to someone new who's learning, but he's not from here. So I was just kind of wondering myself what is, it was going to be like. But then I realized that people was very kind. And even though you don't have like a large population of students, of immigrant, of international students, you have a diversity where you can find people from different places and you can share a mm -hmm. little bit and talk and, and that's very like I, I don't know if I have the, the right words but it's something that you really need to experience you know in, in Chile we don't have that some people from one country some others but not the diversity you have people from China or Japan Mm -hmm. Mexico and all all the countries and you can have the chance if you really want to talk to someone you just need to go and ask what time is it and then you can start a conversation and that's kind of nice and I really feel that all those experiences together were very nice and really helped me to develop my this is um, if we could focus on um, on the, what you would um, ask us to change or t for Alvaro for next year or for, for next fall or other kinds of experiences, what would you have us add or take away? Uh, well, I would suggest uh, to have a student who can help you the first days because sometimes you need to go uh, to the to, to the health center to an office downtown mm -hmm. and you don't really know the places well right. Right. and you may waste a little bit of time some time trying to figure out where places are so that would be like good to just to avoid like this time losing of time at the first week and to become oriented yes right Good. that that would be all and then you can figure out how where classes are and which buses to take and everything uh, how it works because it's a different system so you really need to like an introduction with someone who is can kind of who can go with you and show you where places are of it's course. easier to you at first but then well in my experience I, it wasn't that hard but Maybe some people may struggle with that, right. trying to find their, their own way at first. Then you get used to it, and it's really easy to keep going and work. And it's Javier, I can't tell you um, personally uh, what a joy it is to know you, and I know that we'll continue uh, keeping in touch. And I hope to visit you in Timoco. Yes. I would, and perhaps even go see your class of students yes. but I want to thank you so much for all of the gifts that you have brought to your openness your courage <laughs> your courage and your deep patient understanding thank you. it's just been it's just <laughs> been just incredible thank you okay, for thank your you gifts. for everything